Welcome back to the channel. So I have another watch in for review from Goodspeed Watches. Um, field watch and can also be taken to um, have some cocktails. So very nice. It's kind of in between dressy and field and that's what they're going for here. Very cool. It's a company out of California, very close, uh, just north of me where I, where I live and uh, very, very cool what I see so far. So the specs, let's get the specs out of the way. So 38.5 millimeters from side to side, 45.3 millimeters from tip to tip and 10 millimeters thick. You got a signed crown and we have 20 millimeter lug, it open, lug opening. Uh, 200 meter water resistant. It's got a flat sapphire crystal. You can see that bezel's completely polished and then brushed up on top and also brushed on the sides. Now this is a prototype model. I believe um, the final production model may have drilled lugs, which would be cool too. I think it would work either way to be honest. But um, this is a pretty nice watch. I mean, it's a, it's got a very nice uh, stainless steel. It's all 316L stainless steel, but very nice oyster style strap or bracelet. Uh, very nice. Uh, if you look at those lugs, very nice lugs. Kind of reminds me of the case of a Rolex Explorer and also the bracelet as well. And then you have a really cool dial. So look at that dial. This is blue. I think they have black, I believe I saw, and silver. So um, there will be some options on final production, I'm sure, with the color, uh, the colorway. But you have some very beautiful stick hands. You have a, a second hand there with a red tip. This watch is gonna have loom. You can see the loom filled there on the hour and minute hand. And then you see the little loom pots, loom plots around the minute track there on the outer part. Uh, 12, three, six, and nine, um, uh, good speed. And then Scott Automatic, so, or Scout Automatic, I'm sorry. But uh, very cool watch, um, very good dimensions as well. Here is your fold over deployment clasp with Tons of micro adjustment there. Very nice, all milled, nothing stamped, no stamp steel except for the clasp kind of, but you know, that's a lot of clasp for that way. Um, there is the case back, good speed, Scout. So very, very nice. From what I understand, the owner of this company, this watch was modeled after his grandfather because his grandfather was an outs outdoorsman in the in uh, California, uh, Sierra Nevada. So I think that's really cool. Um, there's a lot of you know history and there was a lot of thought put into uh, developing this watch, which I can really appreciate. So the movement that is in this watch is uh, running the Miyota 9039 hand winding and hacking, okay, no date. And it is 28,800 vibrations per hour, 24 joules, 42 hour power reserve. I looked up the specs, it's negative 10 to positive 30 seconds per day. So I'm sure they'll re probably regulate these on the way out. So you should get a pretty good uh, timed one. In fact, we could check this one and see uh, where it's at. I'm not sure where it's running, but we could just check it for fun. Let me turn on the time grapher there. But I love that dial. Look at that center, all stainless steel looking ring there in the center. And then you have that blue ring on the outer outer portion. I like that. That looks very nice. And then that polished bezel. Just a beautiful watch. So let's put it on the time grapher just for fun. We'll see. So yep, 28,800 vibrations per hour. Amplitude 263. Uh, beat rate zero let's see here if it's going to increase at all uh, it probably will negative five this is actually keeping pretty decent time to be honest beat error point 0.1 so that's not all that bad the reason why i want to check is because in my laco i have the in the laco augsburg that i have it has a miyota as well and that keeps excellent time so these miyota movements are a very good choice especially for this watch i think it keeps the price down and you're still getting a good movement too so very, very nice. I love this watch. Very cool. So anyway, let's put it on the wrist. I think they did a really good job over there at good speed. Um, fits my wrist very well. Look at that. So having a watch at, uh, what was it, 45, a little over 45 tip to tip. Fits real nice on the wrist and very thin at uh, 10 millimeters. And then 38 from side to side. So very good proportions. This is like the perfect uh, field watch proportion here. It really is. And I like those lugs. And you can kind of see that graininess in the lugs. 
kind of reminds me, like I said, of the uh, uh, Rolex Explorer. So great job there as well. Let's check the loom and then we'll close. So the loom, do a loom shot here. Charge her up, charge up the sub in the background there. Let's see. All right, let's kill the lights. This one and this one. There we go. So very good loom. C3 Super Luminova, all evenly applied, very legible. So this will work very well. Here it is up against the Submariner. You can see the difference there. So of course, dive watch and field watch is gonna be quite a bit different, but just so you guys can kind of see the difference. But very nice loom. So, and like I said, this isn't even the final production product, guys. This is a prototype. So once we get that final production, they're going to put their finishing touches on it, and this thing will be good to go. So, hey, thank you so much, Goodspeed, for sending this out on the channel for review. It's going to go to Aaron next over at the OFD channel. Uh, you guys have a happy new year. I'm going to have this posted very short, very soon here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Goodbye.